Alright, welcome to this new Let's Play of UFO Alien Invasion version 2.4. It's a free game, uh, open source. It uh, can be downloaded at ufoai.sf.net. I'll put the link below. Uh, open source meaning uh, runs, uh, it can run on Linux, it can run on Mac. Uh, if you've ever played XCOM, uh, an enemy unknown or XCOM uh, UFO defense, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, this is uh, basically a fan remake of this game. So, UFO invasion, yes. I'm going to play full campaign on the hardest difficulty. I'll click through the, the other ones. You can see, see 35 soldiers to start. 25, 9, 8, 8. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try the very hard campaign because um, I'm funny that way. Um, so let's go. A little glitchy here. There we go. It is the year 2084. Earth, never the most stable of places, enjoys a time of relative peace. The violent, be violent beginnings of the 21st century are far away now. Distant memories, but not so distant that they've been forgotten. To most of Earth's people, the Second Cold War is a dark shadow from the past, much like the world wars were to the children of the late 20th. Conflicts have gotten rarer near the end of the century as new technology and universal health care finally became available to the Third World. Even the fires of their terrorism have cooled in the wake of the Second Cold War, with its horrors and inhumanity still fresh in the mind of peoples from old United States and ravaged Indian subcontinent. Class struggles are ascending to the political battlefield now that every nation is guaranteed a fair representation in the UN, and the global standards of living is slowly on the rise, down to the most impo impoverished corners of the planet. Countries have solidified, stabilized around a restructured United Nations that successfully polices the world governments. Fragmented clumps of smaller nations frightened at first by the vast power block accumulating around China and the European Na Union have banded together into powerful political leagues on their own, of their own. Uh, they found themselves with no neighbors they could safely fight for the first time in the history of mankind. Something, something. <laughs> I can't read fast enough, I guess. The first attack hit the city of Mumbai on the 3rd of March, 2084. Six small UFOs ap appeared out of the nowhere and come screaming down from orbit, undetected by the vast radar installations covering the skies over Mumbai, and set down in single most densely populated city on Earth. They offered no warning, no explanation. 20,000 innocent civilians and three battalions of elite troops are massacred over the course of 12 brutal hours before mass Commonwealth soldiers managed to bring the aliens' advance to a standstill. Then, as suddenly as they appeared, they retreat to their craft and vanish back into orbit, leaving only ravaged streets of Mumbai as evidence. An emergency meeting of the UN provides no conclusive dis direction. The incursion continues to faster, larger, and more savage than before, this time in Bonn, Johannesburg, and Bangkok. Some nations attempt diplomacy, sending message a thousand different languages to the aliens ravaging across the countryside. Their words are ignored. Within hours, all three cities are emptied of human life. The attack is over by the time the various militaries have given permission to strike back. The aliens leave nothing behind but the concrete and blood. All UFOs disappear without a trace, but no one doubts they'll be back. Eighty-seven hours after the initial attack on Mumbai, Earth declares war. For two weeks, the armies of humanity each try to fend off the mysterious alien attackers to the best of their abilities. They score precious few successes. Left with only one alternative, the UN takes action. Ancient equipment is dusted off, some of it more than a century old, and the long-defunct anti-extraterrestrial -extra agency of the former United States, Phalanx, is resurrected under a new UN banner. It is sworn, its sworn duties to combat the alien threat and to ensure the survival of the human race at all costs. Funded by all eight other political powers and drawing its soldiers from the elite of their armies, Phalanx is the best of the best, the Earth's first and only line of defense. It can't afford to fail because if it does, humanity doesn't stand a chance. <clears throat> hmm, okay, interesting. 
Nice uh, setup. Okay, so here we go. This is the Geoscape. You can uh, use these arrows to uh, control the rotation, or you can just click and hold your click and move. Right now, the time is on pause. It's uh, 2084, March 21st. So we have 1.3 million credits. We get to decide where to put our first uh, base. The main attacks were all over here, but uh, I'm going to start by securing United United America. Let's zoom in here with the wheel mouse. Um, select desired location for the new base. Somewhere here. Zoom in. I think that's Minnesota. Toronto's over here. Montreal, Vancouver. Let's, uh, let's go here to try to cover North America the most of the land area, like here. Next. And we're gonna call it... Calm America. Okay. We're gonna reshape the base here because um, bases can come under attack and entry points are here. That's the. Can I click on it? The radar. Radar. Uh, they can come in through here. They can come in through here, which is the base entrance. And then here, which is the ro workshop. All these are bunkered, they can't be entered here, which is the small hangar and the large hangar. So these are all entry points here, so I want to switch these two around. But I don't want to be without these facilities, so I'll do it over time. First thing is, uh, okay, we have 414. I'm going to put in another lab because I'm going to be needing it and it's not it's not instantaneous. I'm going to put it here right next to the first lab. 12 days. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to pull this other workshop here. But I'm going to build the workshop first and then I'll remove this one, build a then containment. And then once that containment is built, I'll remove this one and add a second hangar. For now, I'll put the workshop here. I'll put living quarters because I'll need more room. And a missile battery in the middle. There. 164. Also, let's go to buy sell. Five, six, seven, eight, because I need armor for all my guys. Okay. Okay, there we go. Equip soldiers. High explosive. But better with... Hmm. Okay. You need armor. There we go. Q2.
I don't like the flamethrower. Uh, it takes less time to remove from the oil oyster holster, whatever. Put these in the belt, and it's like there, like that. It's okay. Something like that. Takes a little bit of time to get everybody set up. It's dying on my mouse. That's fine. So everybody's equipped. Uh, I might actually, if anybody starts surviving, I might rename. Actually, I will rename. I'm gonna. So none of these are good with sniper white rifles. This guy. Sanders and okay, I need to start renaming these guys. Uh, but in a in a bit, uh, start going first, get everything going, going for our first mission, and yeah, back to base view. 
research. So I have six scientists. I'm gonna go all out for like that. And production, I'm gonna make what is it? Craft items, armor. And then Okay, back to base view. Can't hire anybody else, maybe a extra pilots, but that's fine. Can I already Okay. So now installations. I need to make an area fifty one. like somewhere over here I guess area 51 something like that I also need to see radar range yeah okay So now I'm going to put out two two radars. I'm going to put one after one there oh yeah I know where out here in Hawaii Pick the second base right away. It's gonna tap out my money, but I have to do it. Base. Show me the unions. Okay. Here we go, XCOM Europe. Two is not bad, two that I can't use, that's fine. Can't really build anything else anyway, we just have the entrance and that's it. But at least it's, I chose a spot. Okay, so, I think that's it, we've got the research going. So let's uh, get time moving.
actually. Twenty-four hours for installation, okay. Accelerate time. Oh, okay. Accelerate time again. There we go. One good missile battery installed. Now we got to add. Okay. Good, now we can... There we go. That's a bigger ship. I don't know if I can intercept and survive, but... I guess I can try. Or let time go by slowly, see where it's going. There we go, perfect, much better. A peaceful neighborhood. So let's get our aircraft. Firebird, make sure everybody's equipped appropriately. Okay, we're good to go. So how do I do it? Click on the mission. Yeah, okay, that's how we do it. And there we go, enter mission. So, right, let's click on the mouse wheel and hold, I can uh, move the camera. There's the enemy ship. Let's start with the main guy okay I don't see any enemies so let's uh, take a step this way nothing That hit him, but at least I tried. Okay, so at least I see one there and another one over there. Number two. Can I, uh... How much do I need to fire? 14. So let's, uh... Reserve for shooting. Make it. I think so. Forty eight percent chance. Let's do it. <laughs> Bullseye. All right, so three. He's uh, an assault rifle guy. Let's run forward here. 
four. Sniper. Is there a... Gonna try to go in the playground here. Okay, three, four, five. No, like that. Six. Try going over here. Okay, there we go, end turn. Oh, there's another one. Uh-oh. Yeah, run away, buddy. You too. Okay, so there should probably only be those other two guys. So... Try to flank them. He needs to reload. Okay. Crouch. Okay. Going up here. Can I crouch? Hopefully, that'll work. Can you reach him? No. Why not? There we go, 84%. Nice shot. You gotta take cover.
missed. Okay. Good. Completely wasted his shots. Okay, let's try to do it with this guy. like this hopefully round burst. There we go. Is that all of them? Yes, sir. Eight civilians saved, three aliens killed. Perfect. I'm gonna sell the UFO that's been recovered to these guys because they're only content. Can't because they're still in the field, okay. Alright, so uh, thank you for joining us. I think I'll end the episode here. Uh, join us in the next uh, episode where uh, I name the soldiers. And if you want a soldier named after you, just uh, put it in the comments below.